How's it going? It's been a little bit for this particular topic, um, but it's time, I think, to make a new batch of mead. It's late spring, almost summer, so we want something a little fruity and light, I think, for this particular batch. Um, so I chose to make a blueberry mead. Technically it's a malamel uh, because it's made with fruit, but it's mostly honey, so we're going to call it a mead. Now, uh, I went out hunting for recipes for a blueberry mead, and a lot of them are very, very complicated, and I'm all about making things easy, so I found a really nice easy recipe that we're going to try. See what happens. Uh, this recipe includes per gallon, one gallon of yielding one gallon of brew, uh, some spring water, a packet of 71B yeast, three and a half pounds of honey, two pounds of blueberries. That's it. That's per gallon. Now we're going to make, we've got our three gallon carboy here, uh, all sanitized and ready to go. So tripling all that, it'd be 10 and a half pounds of honey. I got two, two six pound jugs, so I've got 12 pounds of honey. I've got six pounds of frozen blueberries. And I used frozen blueberries because when you freeze fruit like this and then let it de-thaw, uh, it's my understanding that it, that allows the cell structure to kind of break down easier. So we're gonna take the, these uh, blueberries and we're gonna kind of hit them with a hammer and roll them with a roller, get them all mushed up really good. And uh, we're just gonna put them in here. So really simply, we're going to uh, put our 12 pounds of honey in the bottom of this, add enough water to where we can mix it and get the honey to dissolve. Then we'll add in the blueberries. Then we'll put in the yeast, top it off with uh, the rest of the water, leave enough headroom for uh, the fermentation, of course, to start. And then uh, we will, I guess, aerate it and then leave it to start bubbling, all right? So I guess we need to just start with the honey. 12 pounds. Now, of course, be aware that everything I'm using has been sterilized. So, no worries there. All right, there's 12 pounds of honey. We're gonna put in, I don't know, a gallon or so of water, and we're going to get the honey to uh, melt into the water, and then from there on out, we'll start the next process. But first, we need water. All right, so that's about half full of water and honey. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start, I guess, stirring this, mixing it with the, with the wand and a drill. All right, I'm not gonna need too much more aerating. Normally we would spend a lot of time shaking this and aerating it, but uh, we're gonna run an aerator through this. Uh, so I think what I wanna do next is, I want to um, go ahead and start uh, breaking down the blueberries. I don't wanna put any more water in because I'm not sure how much volume this is gonna take up. So uh, we're gonna take a quick break and next thing we're gonna do is get the blueberries ready. All right, we're moving on to the next phase now, and we're going to be taking these, used to be frozen bags of blueberries, and we're going to roll them and pound them until they are smushed. Then we're gonna cut them open and pour them into the, um, the, the must. 
Now, what we're going to do after that is we're going to get everything mixed together without the yeast. Then we're going to start taking our uh, specific gravity readings and see where our starting point is on this. Uh, and then, you know, we'll get the yeast in already. So let's go ahead and get the blueberries in. And then we'll, uh, I guess, uh, fill this up the rest of the way. All right. The rolling pin's working perfectly fine, so we'll just use that. And let's go ahead and pour this in. All right, uh, we got all the blueberries in. That was quite a chore. Uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna mix this up. Then we're going to um, activate the yeast and put it in and fill this up to the top. Give it another good mix. And then we'll do our hydrometer readings for the specific gravity. So let's go ahead and give it a good mix. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Looks like the yeast is starting to uh, take hold. We're going to go ahead and put it in, and then we're going to uh, give it a good stir, fill this up the rest of the way, and get ready to do some specific gravity readings. All right, let's start by putting the yeast in. And now a quick stir. All right, we're going to fill it up the rest of the way with some spring water, stir it again, and then we're going to take our hydrometer readings. All right, so we're going to leave it several inches of headspace so that we don't get a blowout when we first start to uh, see some fermentation going on here. So let's give it a good stir and let's take our readings. So we were giving it a pretty good beating there, uh, not only to stir it, but to get some high, uh, some aeration going on in there. Now we are going to put an aerator on it for a little bit, uh, but you know that's that's a little bit of uh, extra aeration there. So uh, let's start with the hydrometer and see what our specific gravity is. that looks that lovely all right okay so this is very very high in sugar so you know I'm, I'm sort of having to estimate because it's actually beyond the scale so I'm looking at 1.1, I'm gonna go seven, 1.17. And that's pretty much off the scale as far as sugar goes. Now you have to think what all's in here. We had 12 pounds of honey. We had all these blueberries and the syrup and the juice and all that. So this is extremely sweet right now. It's gonna be interesting how this ferments out. We have our must ready. We have we need to get this in the sink. I'm gonna let this sit in the sink overnight in case we have a blowout. I don't have a blowout valve. So we're gonna let this sit in the sink overnight with a standard airlock. I did, like I said, I had a little bit of extra headroom here, just in case. Uh, I don't see any activity yet, but it's early on. 
let's just get it in the sink and uh, maybe I'll show you something in a little bit and see what happens. All right. Well, that's it. Not too terribly difficult. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. This is my first time doing this. I'm just experimenting. <laughs> We're going to find out how it works out, I guess, in a few months. But in the meantime, uh, I guess uh, let's get the yeast fermenting first. That's the first step. Okay. Uh, I'll probably show you a few things here, but I am going to wrap this video up and make it a part one. And then we'll do a part two in a few months as we do our first or first racking and, and beyond that. So, okay. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by and, uh, you know, I'll show you a little bit of video here.